first shot and brought in by Jordan Hawks. And right away we saw that hard hedge that Michigan is known for on the ball and how they defend ball screens. Lauren Hansen shakes her defender and drains the mid-range. What Kim Burns Rico has done during her tenure at Michigan is incredible. As Cameron Williams goes up with that nice little jump on with her left. Yeah, I mean, technically she wasn't lying. She told her mom she was going to go play pickup games at U of M. <laughs> her mom just assumed it was U of M Flint, not Ann Arbor. <laughs> when you score that few points, she was the, the first to admit. Defense is great. Cameron Williams stepping up big. Michigan leading 11 to 2 here at home and adding more Alyssa Bretz. Already Rutgers tinkering with its lineup on the floor. Multiple substitutions. Another three just falls in. This is Greta Campshader. She's like, well, I'm open and I know I'm a three-point shooter. So what the heck? I'm just gonna just gonna. Ira Evans, lots of black jerseys around her. Michigan patient in its offense. Hobbs launches from three, four for four as a squad here in the first. For three, <laughs> I'll take it. And then obviously the little inside outside action in Jordan Hobbs. Backdoor cut and Bates can't finish. Is that type of movement without the ball? I think that's the third or fourth layup that Rutgers has missed right there at the rim. Cam Schrader looking for another three. She's got it. She needed that first one to go down, whether it was pretty or not, and now she's confident. She caught that one, eyes were on the rim, knees bent, hands ready. And that's a great ball movement by Taylor Williams to kick it out to her. It's a great read. And seeing contributions up and down so far. Sandra Brown, a hard take right at Williams, trying to make something happen. Hobbs along the baseline, beautiful reverse finish. She's explosive and impactful in bursts. Pettacord loses it along the screen. Hansen all the way for two. 27 to nine, Michigan with the lead. Lights out shooting at 61% as Brown gets the burst to the rim. Out of penetration, leaving it for Evans, and she's got the long two. Any one of those performances would have been career making for, for a lot of players, but yet they're, we're talking about Hannah Stolke. Forcing it up and in, Destiny Adams. He's a Gophers team that's lost five straight, and they're trying to keep their tourney hope strong as well. Good dish, post to post, and one, but Cameron Williams. First of all, it's a great pass by Kyra Evans, and then Cameron Williams does a great job of meeting the pass, and unfortunately, she just gets caught. She just gets caught between three players. Falls hard. Guarding China Cornwell now, outside the paints. And the steal sneaking in. Lauren Hansen read it all the way. Hobbs again, but rejected. And China Cornwell, an emotional player, fired up about that. It looked like she was just going to float right to two. Lob into Cameron Williams. Beautiful finish. It's a really well designed inbounds play. We saw Michigan working on this a lot. Cameron Williams, the go to player, gets it right back. Swings to Hansen. Yes, for three. Lob to the rim for Cameron Williams. And then we're going to go inside out. Lauren Hansen, a ready shooter. And again, one and done as they have a 14 to 2 run goal. Lauren Hansen calling her own number. Some full court pressure from Rutgers here, trying to disrupt the Wolverines and set a wide open three for Brett. And she sends it home. Bates with two seconds left. Adams has to throw it up, and she sinks it. She's like, you know what? I'm going to catch it in the paint, and you want to double and triple team me. I'll just step outside and just knock down. Lob again to Williams as she glides inside.
tied for two. No good from the mid-range there. That was another thing the Wolverines did so well, shutting out this great offensive rebounding squad, and they're sharing the ball just as well. Just attacking, just getting to the rim. And that's kind of a new role she's taken on this year, Shimmy, where she knows how much those older players poured into her, and she wants to continue that tradition and return the favor for the younger players for this Michigan team. Nearly 18 points per game, 40% shooting, so a big miss today. But you wouldn't know it. Lauren Hansen drilling the three for the Wolverines. Michigan back on offense with their 8 of 13 from three. They go into the post to Williams, who really set the tone. Taylor Woodson trying to corral this possession. Gets it over her shoulder to Hobbs, under 10 to shoot. Solom across the paint and the finish by Brett. Whitney Solom is just someone who's coming in off the bench, and this is a great way to grow your minutes. of the ball by Michigan has been outstanding as Thompson. Thompson forcing it up as she's able to get two feet in the paint, baits the steal, and then Solom with the block. Adams in the passing lane. Then the score, you're playing for, for progress and growth. Something Coach Washington has talked a lot about this season. They started 0 10 in Big Ten play as Brown is stripped. And the Fox Sports at Nebraska, 14 and 1 at Pinnacle Bank Arena. That is such a tough place to play. Wild things happen. Cameron Williams calling forward a little traffic for the Wolverines. Here is Hobbs for three is to be aggressive without fouling, but we want to talk about dueling threes right here. Jordan Hobbs with a nice. Bates responds back in front of her own bench. Three and then Bates right here, the beneficiary of this double team kick out from Cassandra Brown. Rutgers looking for any kind of gap in this Michigan defense. Brown loses it. I thought it was really classy. We, we get to take part in these games a lot, whether as broadcasters or as coaches. And a lot of times, let's be honest, it's performative. The women's basketball community was rocked with, with her loss, along with Tasha Butts at Georgetown, two former Lady Balls. Absolutely, too, too young. And that's why we have these games, and that's why it's so beloved in our sport. Toughest schedules in the entire country. They have dealt with being short-handed this year. They're still in the conversation and they are fighting. You can't imagine an NCAA tournament that does not have a Maryland or Brenda Freeze coach team in it. It'll be interesting to see how things shake out. That's why February is so important. It's pretty nice. Melissa Crockett getting her first action, and Cameron Williams has done that all day long. 23 points. You're right about Thompson. That's something Coach Washington has talked about, both her and Herter. Finally understanding the speed of the game here in the Big Ten. Two on one, Hobbs. How it turns out as we get closer and closer to Paris. If I'm a player on either one of these teams, and on my coaching staff, is a national team member. Coach Barnes Rico said that the streaming is basically always on in their office because they also have Saisha Gori who's playing for Hungary. They have an incoming freshman, Silas Swords, playing for Team Canada. Had a court scoring back to back. Thompson turning it over. Cam Schrader comes up with the steals. Duck surrounded inside, Hobbs wide open, three. She's got 16. And Coach Barnes Rico has been looking for other players to step up. And sometimes that takes confidence and it sometimes it comes, you have to be pushed to do that. And we saw that tonight. Cam These Wolverines, they can score. Michigan with its most points in a Big Ten game this season is China Cornwell.